I'm here in Surfers Paradise and as you can see the practice is well prepared for any patients who may be presenting with symptoms of coronavirus. Let's take a little look. So as you can see we've got a number of patient alerts which say please do not enter the practice if you're feeling unwell in any way and it's directing patients to the local testing centre. Let's take a look inside and see how a lovely receptionist is coping. Hi Zana, Hi. good morning, Hi. how are you? Good, thank so Zana I see that you're actually cleaning all of the surfaces. Yes, this I'm morning. just making sure everything is disinfected, ready yeah. for the day. That is awesome. So we always make sure that we're cleaning everything, making sure that our patients are nice and healthy in this area. And I can see also you've yes. got your mask there yes. on hand. Ready to go. Yes, we are. We are <laughs> truly ready to go. Yes, we are bosses right now. <laughs> so Zana, as a yes. medical receptionist, yes. how do you feel about the coronavirus outbreak? Um, I think people aren't taking it as seriously as they should. They should. People should be getting checked. There's probably a lot of people out there that don't know that they could have the symptoms or they could have it yeah. and they aren't being che checked yeah. for it. Yeah, I agree, I agree. And what are you doing on a personal level? Like, How are you keeping yourself protected? Um, staying at home as much as possible. I'm a uni student, so all my classes have been fully um, converted to online now. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And so how is your university coping with that? Like, are your friends um, happy or sad? Or? <laughs> a bit of both. I think some classes are better when we have face-to-face -face, um, classes, but I think it'll be good for the coronavirus. And Zaina, what do you do if patients call up and they say, um, I want an appointment with a doctor? Do you kind of do any kind of filtering or what do you say? Is yeah, just ask if what their symptoms are, if they have any fever symptoms, yeah. to please go see a special corona centre. Yeah, that's so important. Center. Yeah. yeah. So guys, if you do experience any symptoms of any flu-like symptoms or any fever, we will direct you to the, the correct location, which is a local location for us, which actually can test you for coronavirus. I'm going to leave you to it, Zaina, because I can see you're doing a very important job before our patients come in in about 10 minutes. Thank, Thank you. you. Well done. As you can see, our waiting room is fully equipped, making sure that our patients are sitting equal distances apart so that if anybody is coughing or sneezing, there's a good one metre between patients. All right, guys, that's it. My clinic's about to start and I'm about to see my first patient. So in the morning, I always make sure that I fill out any forms that are on my desk and I always make sure that my Inbox is nice and clean as well because we often get a lot of lab tests that we have to go through and make sure they're actioned appropriately. So if a patient needs to come in urgently, we'll ask them to come in on the same day or if it's a non-urgent appointment within two weeks. Before I bring any patients into the room, I always like to make sure that the hard surfaces are clean from the last doctor. We do thoroughly wash our tables after each and every doctor, but you can never be too sure. So I'm off to go and get some cleaning spray. So this is medical grade disinfectant, which is uh, suitable for use for viruses such as coronavirus, which can live on the hard surfaces. Some staff will do this for you and that is fantastic and I'm very grateful for that, but I always like to make sure that we do it again. There's no problems cleaning your desk twice. Now one area, well actually two areas that are often forgotten in a doctor's surgery are the telephone, which also needs a good clean, the keys, but more importantly the door handles. Can you imagine how many people open the door Alrighty, now that my room is nice and clean and feeling nice and disinfected, I'm ready to see my patients for the day. One thing I have noticed working as a GP on the front line is that the reception staff are absolutely crucial to making sure that patients who are booking in, making sure that they don't have symptoms of coronavirus, which could be fever or cough. Now this is important because if these patients get slipped through the net, as they say, um, they may be sitting in the waiting room infecting other sick patients who need to see their doctor, say, for a prescription or for a diabetes check. It's also important as well for us doctors because if a patient does come in and they get through and they see the doctor and they are exhibiting symptoms of coronavirus, then they are also 
risking us of having um, an illness such as coronavirus, which we can then spread on to the 40 or 50 people that we see during the day. Now, in my perspective, as you can see, the receptionists are doing a fantastic job cleaning down all the surfaces, making sure that patients are going to the correct collection centers and, and clinics to make sure that we're not spreading this virus. And these correct centers, or fever clinics as they're called locally, are located next to the hospitals. This means that they have access to hospital should they need admission, should they need admission to the ICU for a ventilation, or should they need any medication, they are literally on the doorstep of the hospital, making sure that they've got the correct treatment and tests available to them. So I must reiterate that if you are feeling unwell and you've had a recent travel abroad or you've got a temperature or you're getting symptoms of cough and you just think you might have coronavirus, please, please, please call up your GP in advance, speak to the receptionist. They will direct you, if appropriate, to the correct testing center, which is usually a hospital location, and you'll get the correct treatment there. Please do not proceed to see the general practitioner and sit in the waiting room because the patients who are going to see the doctor are already ill. They might be pregnant, they may be on cancer-fighting medications, so please make sure that you always call up your GP in advance to make sure that is the correct place for you to go. All right, my first patient's just arrived. Maria? Hello, come in. Hi, Maria, looking lovely. Yes, we are bosses right now. <laughs> yes. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a line in the comment section below. But for now, take care and stay healthy.